Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a, I hesitate to say a tool, more of a concept or a workflow that's going to assist us when we're working with our proposals in InfraWorks, specifically the ability to migrate or copy objects from one proposal to another. So let me explain. I've got a model that I'm currently working on that has three proposals. I've got master, which is my existing conditions, and I've got road design one and road design two, which represent a proposed crossing street and different or various configurations of an intersection where it crosses over the existing road. So I've selected to flip it over to road design one. We see in this particular case, I've got just a, uh, a crossing type of a intersection with maybe some turning lanes to help with traffic flow. We'll flip over to another uh, proposal here. This one's road design two, and we'll see the same location for the intersecting street, but now instead of an intersection, it'll model it as a roundabout. All right, so uh, really that's all that I have in this model. We're going to keep it simple just to show you how this uh, this concept or this workflow um, functions. So what, I, uh, what I'm what i going to do is I'm going to flip back to master, and you'll see that in all three proposals, really the only other information that I have modeled is I've got the existing ground, the terrain, and the aerial photo draped over the top of that, and I've got one legacy tree out here that I need to avoid with my road configuration so that we don't uh, damage or disturb this existing tree. All right, well, let's say that we started to lay out our different proposals. Not all of the existing information was collected. Maybe there's some additional data, uh, more legacy trees or other structures out there we need to take into consideration as we move forward. Well, because the other proposals were created from master, I would love to tell you that I could create new objects, maybe select this object here and we'll say uh, control D to duplicate. We'll pan that over and drop another legacy tree here. I'd love to be able to tell you that if I added these to the master proposal, it would automatically add that new tree to the subsequent proposals that were built from it. And unfortunately, it doesn't work that way at this point. Uh, instead, it's just adding it to the master proposal, or if I were to add them to proposal one or proposal two, they would all remain unique. So uh, there are times when if we create new model geometry or components, we'll want to take those components from one proposal to the next. Let's do this. We'll add one more thing. There's a church there, so I'm going to add uh, city furniture. I've got a small model of a church. We'll select that. We'll drop it in this location, and then I'm going to hit Escape, and we'll just kind of rotate that so that it's facing this area. All right, so I've got some new existing information that's been added. Uh, it's been added to the master. Let's roll up to Road Design 1, our first proposal, first option for our roadway, which is just our crossing intersection. And you'll see what I mean, that these new newly created objects do not show up in that proposal. All right, so we see that in that proposal, they're, they're not there. So if I've added it to one, I'd like to add it to the others. Uh, many times folks have looked at like a uh, copy and a paste, and uh, we can do it with that, but we there's one other switch that we need to, uh, to put in. If we were to uh, do Control-C, uh, copy, and then Control-V for paste, or even Control-D, which you saw me use, we'd have to pick the point where we're going to place it. Instead, we'd like to have something that's more like paste to original coordinates, similar to what we have in a, an AutoCAD or a Civil 3D environment. Um, that does exist in InfraWorks, but it's actually um, part of our, uh, our view settings. So let me do this. We're going to flip back to uh, Master so that I see my components again, the, the newly created ones. So we'll have our tree in that uh, up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the configurable views that we have in InfraWorks, and I'm going to tweak a value in there that will assist us with the um, copy and the paste so that we can land them exactly where we want to land them or in the same location as the previous proposal. So I'm going to go to conceptual view. There's engineering view. Those are the default ones that are there. You could always create a new one that is just for doing this type of an operation, or you could just flip some of the values, uh, actually one value, in, uh, in either of these and be able to accomplish it as well. Uh, I'm going to select, or right now we're in the conceptual view, I'm going to go ahead and configure that view by selecting on the gear here. Then what I'm going to do is there's a couple different options here. One is for rendering and lighting. The other one is for navigation and application feedback, also for uh, editing mode. 
So what I'm going to do by default, you're going to see editing mode is uh, turned on. So for it's set for either editing or for selection, I'm going to flip it uh, to the other option so that now when I select a tree and I right click, we now have an option you see here that is paste in place. That was something that we would not have had in its default value if we right click, those options aren't there. Okay, so if I'd like to take these objects and copy those to another proposal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip the uh, edit to selection mode. We'll go ahead and select the first object, hold down the control key, select the second object. Let's pan over a little bit, hold down the control key, select the third object. Then I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy that to my clipboard. From there, we will come up to uh, row design one, which will be our crossing intersection. We'll give that a moment to come up, and when that comes up, we should be able to right click and then paste it uh, in such a way that it'll land in its original coordinates. All right, and actually, I've, uh, I'll wind up with two trees there. We'll know that it, uh, it lands where the other one was. I'm going to right click, there is paste in place. As soon as I do that, we see those objects come in. So we now have those landed exactly where they were before. And I now have two trees in this location. If we uh, highlight this and I hit uh, the delete key, I've gotten rid of one of them. I could get rid of it again, select it, get rid of the second one, and then they're both gone. Or maybe just to show you, we'll delete these guys. We'll right click, paste in place, and all three drop in in the same location. I come up to row design two, where I'd want the uh, the same features. When row design two comes up, we will right click, we'll do paste in place, and perform the uh, the same operation. All right, so we'll take this one out. So we'll highlight that, and then we'll hit uh, the delete key. So that's gone. I'm going to right click. We'll say paste in place, and then those objects are brought in, in the same location as the previous proposal. All right, so very, very uh, helpful tool, especially if we need to copy or move or relocate geometry from one proposal to the next. The trick is we want to make sure and go to the appropriate uh, view where we've got a setting established that instead of it being in edit mode, edit mode is flipped off to selection mode. In doing so, when we right click after those objects have been copied, we'll get a new option here, paste in place, and it will allow us to quickly paste those to the original coordinates. Um, such that when it goes from one proposal to the next, they'll all be in the appropriate location. So I hope this is helpful, and I look forward to talking to you again soon. See ya.